Welcome to the data store setup for the Subsesum backup server. A data store is an area on disk that the backups go to. Go select components and data stores and you'll see a default data store that is created during the install of the software. Let's select a new data store for the new disk that we have set up. Let's identify a name. You can create anything you want. In this case we'll do DS01 and identify that it will create a new drive number for the data store. Let's browse to where the data store is going to be configured for and we put it under MNT and a directory called BKP. So that's our mount point. And it's going to show us that the mount point itself is 50 gig. So that disk that we created is 50 gig and it is empty so there's 50 gigs of free space. The capacity is minus 2 so when it hits 50 minus 2, 48 gig, it will stop anything it's doing. So that's capacity. High watermark right now is set for 38 gig, so 50 minus 12. This is going to be the point at which it's going to not kick off another backup if it has does not have enough space available. The low watermark is used to identify when it will start purging jobs that are available. If it is set to zero, it will purge every job as soon as it hits end of life. If it is set to any other number, it will start purging as soon as it hits that low watermark value. Let's go ahead and use those values and we can now configure or change these. So let's change the high watermark to minus 10. So 50 minus 10 is going to be 40 gig will be our high watermark. We need to create a drive group. So let's create a drive group name. In this case we create DG01 and we can also configure the number of channels at this point. The number of channels are the number of data streams that it will be using when it's pulling data from the servers. So you can increase or decrease that depending on capabilities on the network. As soon as we create the drive group it will also ask us to set up a media pool. This media pool will be referenced to the drive group we just created. So let's create media pool MP01 and identify this is where you define your end of life for your jobs. So your media pool is configured to create your end of life and how it stores it. In this case it's minus 7. So we can see that the new data store is set and if we want to use this data store all the time we need to define it as the default. Just go into your schedules anywhere and select a new backup event. It will open your scheduled event and this is where you can configure your default value. It is alphabetical and you'll see that M is the first one on the list. If we click MEM this will define it as the new default value always for wherever we are in the interface and allow us to use that as the default value whenever we are going to do backups. Thank you for your time. 